Hello everyone, my name is Theo and this is going to be a small rig update video. And uh, well, before I go any further, I'd like to apologize for the lack of videos lately. But I had exams and uh, you know how it is. Before I open up my side panel and show you what's in my case, I'd like to show you my desk again. That is a 22 inch uh, Samsung, 17 inch uh, Philips. That one's a bit bad, the Philips one. Well, it is older, but you know, whatever. <laughs> um, keyboard, still the same. Really crappy keyboard, cost me like 15 euros. It works sometimes. <laughs> I really need to get a new keyboard. Uh, the mouse, still the same. Crappy old microphone, still the same. I did get some uh, new speakers. As you can see, the DR, the Logitech X530. They have a really good bass, and they're pretty loud, and they're much better than my old ones. Old uh, Western Digital external 500 gigabytes. As you can see, I have the same CPU. It is running on stock right now, just because it is summer, and if I overclock, then it gets pretty warm, and I don't like that. Here you can see I have a, uh, well not mine. A friend gave this to me, so uh, thank you. <laughs> I have a 560, but also a 680. Really good card. Some things uh, annoy me, like for example the coil wine that it has. But in games it doesn't whine, so yeah. And so the things that I changed in my case. First of all, you can see the fan controller right here. This is the Sky Master 2, which the box is right here. It is a 4 channel fan controller, also with uh, temperature probes and up to 12 watts per channel. As you can see on there, I don't have any fans connected to it just because the case is pretty small and doesn't support that many fans. So, the temperatures, this one is on the side of my H80. This one is the ambient temperature in my room, this one is on top of the hard drives, and this one is my RAM. Uh, this fans, well, this fan is uh, this one and one right there, which I will show you when I open up the case. They are the Corsair fans that came with H80 because I have replaced those. Uh, that one is uh, this lower fan, which is an air penetrator AP121. The box is right here <laughs> and uh, the first one is on the HA. So let me get off the, the side panel, turn on the flash, and I'll see you guys in a second. So, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> uh, it looks pretty different than the last time you guys uh, saw my case. Uh, big difference replaced my CNPS 10X and I got a Corsair H80. Uh, to be honest, I'm a bit disappointed by its performance. Like, with a 25 degree amp uh, ambient temperature, I might be getting um, like 48 degrees on my uh, CPU, low temperature on folding at home. Now it's not folding at home, but yeah. Also, the pump was doing the grinding noise, so I had to get a Molex 2 3 pin, as you can see on the top right there. I still have the same RAM, uh, 8GB uh, HyperX Blue or HyperX DDR3, 1600MHz, really good. There you can see the, the the temperature probe that I was talking about before. Here you can see the back of the side of Master 2. I had to make... Uh, yeah, uh, in case you were wondering about that sound. It's a uh, Asus um, Probit. Sometimes it says like uh, some weird uh, things right there, and it just does that noise to warn me. <laughs> Doesn't really work well, but I had to make that hole a bit wider just because the cables um, didn't fit originally from there, and I'd have to route them through that uh, cable management hole, and it wouldn't look that good. Like you can see how brightly colored they are, and going lower. You can see my GeForce GTX 680, really good card, the performance is excellent, but as I said before, it does whine a bit in a, well not a bit, it does whine a lot in folding at home. 
which really pisses me off. Uh, right under that, you can see my uh, Ace Zonar DG 5.1. Really cheap sound card, but it does the job, and it sounds really nice. Like for the price, it sounds amazing. I think. There on the back, you can see the Corsair. Uh, Corsair, fuck. <laughs> well, that's a Corsair HX 850 watts. Pretty good power supply. It has everything I need. I'll show you the cables in just a second. Like on the back there, you can see the Crosser 4 formula from Asus. One of the best AM3 uh, AM3 motherboards, I think. And so much reflection there. Anyway, uh, below the the sound card, you can see the 560 Ti. Again, this is uh, this is not mine. A friend gave them to me, so thank you again. <laughs> This is mainly used for physics and or folding at home. This winds a lot less than the 680, but it still winds just a bit. Uh, the, power, the power supply I showed you. And there are my three hard drives. A uh, 500GB one, one terabyte one, and a 160GB one. If you're wondering where my SSD went, it's on the back of the motherboard, well, the other side. And I will post a picture of that right about now. <laughs> so as you can see, the cable man runs pretty good. The fan controller added a lot of cables, but I think uh, I think it looks pretty good. Reassure me, guys. Come on. <laughs> so um, going so so going back to the case. This is the other uh, Corsair fan I was talking about. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but these are air penetrators, one AP121 fans. They don't perform quite as well as the stock Corsair fans, but they're a lot quieter. So I do prefer this because, uh, like this fan, and on the front, like just listen to this, okay? Max. Seriously. But they push out a lot of air, which uh, is really nice. Also, with this fan controller, I can completely turn uh, turn off the fan if I really want to, as you can see there. So that one just stopped spinning, which is really nice. I will leave that off for now. Uh, on the front, there, as I said, there is a uh, wait. Can I, can you see that? A bit. <laughs> There's a uh, air penetrator fan as well. And that's really dusty, even though I cleaned my, my computer like a month ago. Actually, less than a month. Anyway. Um, that's it for my case. I mean, I don't think I'm forgetting something. If I am, just uh, leave, a, leave a, a comment. And I will answer to you. I will always answer to my comments. And this is the rear uh, I.O. port. And then everything that I have. For, uh, for the really curious people. Uh, for the future... I'd like to get a new, um, yeah, my earphone cell. I'd like to get a, a new case, preferably like a TJ07 or something. Probably need to work to get one though, because they're really expensive. And uh, make a custom water cooling loop, just because uh, that would be really quiet and uh, I really like a quiet PC. This case is really small if you think about it, like. Right now I don't have that much room to work in. And the, the hard drive bays, those are really annoying if I want to put a, a hard drive like. And plus the, all the cables are coming out from there. So you can see it's a bit of a mess down there. But it looks much better than uh, the previous uh, and previously. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, as I said, leave a comment. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Sexy G-Force logo. Yeah.